Do you know the name of your neighborhood? Did you know that your neighborhood has an association? Neighborhood associations are great ways to stay informed about what's happening in and around your neighborhood, from street improvements to new building projects. By using the city's website, dmgov.org, you can easily find your neighborhood association's detailed information. Go to dmgov.org, scroll down under Quick Links, and click Neighborhood Associations Information in the lower left-hand side. There you will see 57 neighborhood associations there, their boundaries, as well as detailed contact information. If you're not sure if you're in one neighborhood or another, there's a map there to assist you in finding your way. Click on the map or the corresponding neighborhood name for individual neighborhood information and contact of neighborhood association leaders. We want to do everything possible to ensure that you stay in the know. Speaking of staying informed, the Public Information Office is your link to the city. It is our aim to keep you, the resident, well informed. I want to take this time to make sure you're aware of all the different ways to get information. The first is the City Source Newsletter. This is a quarterly publication mailed to every household in Des Moines with content on everything going on in local government. From pet license reminders to your local neighborhood construction project updates, it's all inside. The city's website is a great way to find any and all information. On the homepage of dmgov.org, there's a city calendar in the upper left-hand corner detailing the events of the day and those to come. There's also a quick links box beneath the calendar with the links of more frequently visited pages, including city council, city council workshop, as well as links to the Des Moines Public Library and the Des Moines International Airport. DMTV. This is the city's Mediacom cable channel. It's available seven days a week, 24 hours a day, on Mediacom cable channels 97-1, 86, and 7. If you do not have Mediacom cable, you can always watch live from the city's website. At dmgov.org, scroll down to the lower right-hand side and click DMTV and videos. From there, click Watch DMTV Live on the left-hand side. In addition to the open public meetings, we are City Spotlight, a program with host Mayor Frank County, focusing on culture and the arts within the city of Des Moines, as well as City Talk with Chief Communications Officer Amelia Morris, talking about services the city offers residents, as well as several other community pieces on everything from the Isisarets to local jazz artists. Tune in, we're on right now. The city of Des Moines also has a YouTube channel. Yes, the city has a YouTube channel. We post all of our content from the channel there so that you can watch them when you like. If you need to review something from an open public meeting or just want to catch this month's episode of City Spotlight and City Talk, stop by the city's YouTube page at www.youtube.com backslash city of Des Moines, Iowa. If you are a resident without Mediacom cable or internet access, you can always give us a call with any city-related question at 515-283-283. 4500. Staff are available to take your call Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. With the new year comes new things and great improvements. With all the changes happening in our downtown area and the increase in business, it was about time that we update the signage. Here's a model of the sidewalk access sign. This model is about three times smaller than the actual sign, but it definitely cannot be missed from the street. It will be projected from the building and held there so that street pedestrians can see skywalk entry access points. This is the overhead traffic sign that goes in the skywalk. It highlights popular destinations and how far you are away from those buildings. Both the red sidewalk access sign and the overhead traffic sign will be illuminated with LED lighting. It's energy efficient. This is the skywalk directory map. These maps are mounted within the Skywalk at several locations. As you see, it has the entire Skywalk system on it, and they even have touchscreen capabilities. Hey, did you know? Des Moines was named in the top 10 digital city governments for 2012 at eRepublic Center for Digital Governments and Digital Communities. We also received the Certificate for Achievement and Excellence in Financial Reporting and Government Finance Officers Association of the United States and Canada. Des Moines ranked number one in Best Cities for Families in July of 2012 by Kiplinger. And Des Moines ranks number four for Best Places for Businesses and Careers 
by Forbes magazine in June of 2012. Des Moines and West Des Moines ranked number two for best cities for jobs this summer by Forbes in June 2012. And Des Moines was the number two strongest local economy by Tech Journal in June of 2012. Des Moines ranked number 10 for the most educated young workforce by the Business Journal in May of 2012. And Des Moines ranks number two for the best cities for jobs in Forbes. That happened in March of 2012. Don't forget the downtown farmer's market was recognized as one of America's best in country living 2012. It was a great year for the city and we look forward to serving you further in 2013. Catch our local government at work at any of the open public meetings. The Park Board will meet Tuesday, January 22nd at 5 p.m. The City Council will convene Monday, January 14th and January 28th at 4.30 p.m. And the Zoning Board of Adjustment will meet Wednesday, January 23rd at 1 p.m. I'm Shekinah and that's your City Update.